we did a little hip sequence for flexibility. So now we're gonna talk about stability and doing a few simple exercises to balance the hip joint from uh, the inside and the outside. Most of us are dominant on the outside of our hips, the outside of our thighs, and weaker on the inside. And so to engage the adductors, you can put a block between your legs. I'm sitting on a little blanket flex your feet and all I want you to do is squeeze the block. Squeeze it at about 50%. Right away you should feel your inner thigh muscles engage. You may even feel your belly tone because the inner thigh muscles are a really integral part of our core and when those are weak something else has to compensate for it and a lot of times our lower back ends up working too hard. So squeeze the block. Squeeze the block so you can still smile. <laughs> and then squeeze the block and release a little bit. And squeeze the block and release a little bit. And if you are thinking, this is like the thigh master. Well, I know how old you are. And if you're thinking, what's a thigh master? Google it. Squeeze and release. And squeeze and release. And then really hug the block so your inner thighs are kind of spinning in but also down. So it's working on the internal rotators and then maybe lift up. And when you squeeze in, your feet will go out. And so that is really, you'll notice right away, one side might be shaking like, I'm not used to doing this. It's one of those things that looks like nothing, but you feel it a lot. Now for the outer legs and side seat, these little bands, so nice. They're color coded. One's thicker and shorter will mean it's more resistance. So the red one's easier, or whatever you, you color, colors you have. Um, these are very easily to get, easy to get online or at any sporting goods store. And so you can start more with the legs a little bit straighter, slight bend, and just feel like you're gonna slide your feet apart. You may remember or have seen people doing these standing up, and we'll do more of standing up hip work another time. So just widen your legs and come together and widen your legs and come together. And you'll be balancing the work you just did on the inside by working the outside. So slide your legs apart and together. Working the outer thighs, outer seat. So nice. These are the abductors, what moves your leg, abducts your hip. Um, again, hopefully you're feeling everything work because the muscle doesn't work in isolation. They're chains. Where are you deficient on what part? And so working in isolation will make the whole thing work better. And then you take the block between your legs, squeeze the block, and then move your feet apart. Squeeze the block, move your feet apart. Oh my goodness, it's like just a couple of inches working so hard in there. It's a really nice thing to do before you do any other exercise or yoga practice. So play with those, see what you notice. Happy Yoga Therapy Thursday.